up guys? So I'm out today on my morning run. I am starving right now. And as I'm running, doing a lot of thinking, had a pretty cool idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop into a little local spot over here in Santa Monica. I'm gonna use this as a chance to uh, get a little bit of a cheat meal in, and then I'm gonna take that cheat meal home and perfect it. So I've checked this out recently and seen that I can get a pretty damn good breakfast burrito for $3.50 over here. It's got everything you would want in it. The biggest problem is that uh, it's wrapped in a flour tortilla. So what I'm gonna do is, I got some ideas already, but I'm definitely gonna cut that out and change a couple things up. But first, let's get inside. So I just ordered the burrito. Uh, while I'm waiting now, let's check out all these awesome donuts that they got. In a future episode, I'll be recreating these donuts. So get after me if you have any comments, suggestions, or favorite flavors. Yeah. Cool, got my burrito right here. Fortunately, I'm only at like a block away from this place. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'll order you too. Just got home with this burrito. Let's take a look at it. Boom! Time to cut it in half. Check it out. Let's dissect it and let's recreate. So as you can see, a uh, good amount of flour wrap right here. So that's something I want to avoid. I want to get more filling in there. Uh, not too much egg, little bit of ham. Got hash browns right here. So uh, what we got laid out is all the ingredients. We got two strips of some nice uncured thick cut bacon. I got some brown eggs, natural, cage free, way to get after it. Right here I got a beautiful uh, little brown rice wrap, all right? Gluten free, no harmful flours in there. Yeah, fried hash brown I'm gonna be cutting out and instead getting in those beautiful roasted fingerling potatoes. And then what I got right here is a little uh, raw milk sharp cheddar. That's about that, time to get after it. Let's make this burrito happen. Slice these potatoes down nice and thin. This way they cook a lot faster, a hell of a lot faster. We're gonna roast them off. We're gonna spray them just a little bit. Give them a little bit of kosher salt, just a little bit of black pepper, and then these guys are off to the oven. Let's get them in. We'll check it at 10 minutes and we'll go from there because we got the oven on 450 degrees. Wanna make sure that we don't uh, overcook any of that. All right, and then back at it in the meantime, we'll just go ahead and slice up the cheese. All right, we're only gonna be using about an ounce of cheese. So we're gonna use two eggs in here today. Okay, oven timer just went off. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, bacon and the potatoes. Boom! A little bit of non-stick spray in the pan. Pop those bad boys in there. All right, time to bust out the old rubber spatula. Move those eggs, baby, move them. And now here's what I like to do. I'm gonna take this cheese and I'm gonna put it right over the top here. I'm gonna get this guy right into the oven now so this cheese melts and then it's ready for the wrap. All right. Now it's great, because even though I've shut the oven off after I cooked the bacon and potatoes, I'm still using the residual heat to melt that cheese. All right, and what we're gonna do now to get these potatoes ready is we're just gonna take a fork and just mash them down just a little bit. Okay, that cheese is all melted on them eggs. Let's get a look at it. Perfect. All right, now one thing we're gonna do just to get this all ready to wrap it up is we're gonna take this nice uh, gluten-free brown rice wrap I got here and we're gonna just throw it in the microwave to heat it up, makes it much more pliable to work with. We're gonna throw it in for about 15 seconds. So here comes the wrap and let's build. So what we're gonna wanna do here is get these eggs out, cheese side down. Next up, we're gonna get these beautiful potatoes right on top and now it's time for some crispy bacon. Gonna break that into some pieces. Time to wrap it up. Boom. All right, now for the comparison. So, the one I just made and the one I got from the store. Look at the difference in how much wrap is here, how much egg I've got in mine, all that extra protein and delicious nutrients. You guys know what's left next. Taste test. Gluten-free, packed with protein, can't wait. I done good. I done real good. All right, now again, breakfast burrito is definitely a cheat meal for me. Not something I would normally consume, but making it healthier adds so much value to breakfast. That being said, my version, boom right here, of this awesome uh, breakfast burrito that I made, uh, comes out to being 445 calories, 22 grams of carbohydrate, net carbohydrate, 24 grams of fat, and 27 grams of protein. And again, total cheat meal, but cleaning it up, and making it healthier to fit me so that I know I'm comfortable eating it. If I am cheating, cheating clean that is, <laughs> uh, is huge for me. That's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna get after the rest of this burrito because I'm still pretty hungry. I'll see y'all guys next time. So subscribe, click on that like button, and let's recreate some more incredible, incredible favorite foods. See you guys next time. <laughs>